Hi, it's Yulti Carlson here, and Blade Runner is certainly acclaimed as one of the greatest science fiction films of all time. Even if it was a bit neglected and bombed at the box office on its initial release, it's since become revered as one of the high water marks of the genre. Now, I was going to buy Blade Runner on 4K, but was disappointed to learn that the 4K release does not include the alternate cuts of the movie in addition to the final cut. So, I actually purchased an import release of the film. This is an import release that includes three Blu-ray discs and one 4K Ultra High Def disc of the final cut. I'm going to unbox this release and I will share my opinions. Front cover's got the uh, unicorn symbolism, of course. I don't really know that that would have been my first choice of cover art, but again, it does look very nice. And then let's get this stuff out. In addition to the movie, we also get a pretty nice booklet, which is actually two-sided. We have Blade Runner from the Archive and The Art of Blade Runner. So there's some pretty cool like you know, storyboards and animatics and things like that. A lot of early concept art. And then you get some rare production photographs as well. I definitely appreciate the fact that they included this in here. As usual, I'm not going to go through every single page in there, but you kind of get the idea. And here's the inner case that has the movie. We fold this open, you got more art in this flap, and then you got a list of the discs and what's on each of them. Over here we have our actual discs. These are held in place by some very odd you know, plastic wings. They're kind of a pain to get out, but I'll take out the discs and I'll show them off. Here's our 4K disc, which features the final cut of the movie, plus a trailer and an introduction to the film, as well as commentary tracks. We then have Blu-ray Disc 1, which features the final cut on Blu-ray, identical to the previously released Blu-ray. And then we have our additional Blu-ray discs over here. We have a disc here that features the work print version of the film, as well as several pieces of archival footage and bonus features, including the Dangerous Days documentary. And then we have a disc that has most of the other cuts of the movie. It has the theatrical cut of the movie, the international theatrical cut of the movie, and the 1992 director's cut. Underneath the discs here, we have the artwork of the Tyrell building. That looks very nice. Of course, if you're watching this video, you probably already know the story of Blade Runner, but if not, I will give you a little recap. The film is set in November 2019, which believe it or not at one point actually was the future. And in this future, off-world colonies are a common thing. There's a lot of advanced technology, even if Earth has become a bit overcrowded and cluttered. But one of the technological advancements was the creation of replicants. Replicants are humanoid robots who are pretty much identical to their human counterparts, but in many cases have increased strength and stamina. The problem is, we started reaching points where the replicants begin going out of control and a group of renegade replicants lands on Earth. So it's up to the Blade Runner, Rick Deckard, to come out of retirement and go after them at the behest of his police chief. It's not long before Deckard finds himself face to face with this threat, having to go out and do detective work to find out where he's going to locate these characters. And meanwhile, they find themselves settling on Earth and trying to find the best way that they can to survive. Will Deckard manage to stop his targets, or will he end up being their latest victim? Blade Runner is certainly a great film, and in the hands of acclaimed director Ridley Scott, pretty much any story can become great. The movie clocks in at just about two hours, and it's probably well known for how many different cuts of the movie there have been. This so-called final cut is Ridley Scott's preferred version, which enhances the picture quality, fixes a lot of old continuity problems and things like that and more or less gets rid of a lot of the elements that didn't work, including that voiceover that a lot of fans and, of course, cast and crew weren't too crazy about either. The voiceover had also been removed on the earlier 1992 director's cut, but Rick Deckard is played by Harrison Ford, and at this time he'd played Han Solo twice and Indiana Jones once, so he was already a pretty big mega star, but I think this is one of his roles that I don't think really gets talked about enough, and he does a great job here. The supporting cast is equally great, including M. Emmett Walsh playing his police chief, Edward James Olmos is a fellow detective, 
Rutger Hauer as the leader of the group of replicants, and even, even Daryl Hannah, who of course would be famed a few years later for her role in the movie Splash, plays one of the replicants. The set building in this movie is absolutely gorgeous. It's certainly a futuristic sci-fi environment, but it's a very cluttered, dirty, lived-in science fiction environment. I absolutely love the way this movie looks, and it's no surprise it's been influential on a number of other productions. The film is actually based on a novel by Philip K. Dick entitled Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep? And there were some changes in the movie versus the book, obviously, but it looks great. It's a well-acted film. It's certainly more of a noir-style film because there's a lot of detective-style work throughout the film than it is a straight-up sci-fi action movie, but... What this movie does, it does exceptionally well, and it's no surprise people continue to praise Blade Runner to the moon and then some. And I've certainly become one of the biggest fans of the movie over the years. The final cuts disc in here is the only one that's actually presented on 4K, and I'm happy to announce that the 4K of the final cut looks absolutely gorgeous. This is one of those movies where HDR is certainly a welcome addition. You have a lot of dark night scenes in the shadows, you have a lot of you know, dark environment side buildings, but then you have those neon signs and other colorful elements here and there. So the HDR really runs the gamut with what it does on a transfer like this. And it is a beautiful looking disc. Sadly, the Blu-ray disc is the same disc as the one that came out earlier that had the final cut on it. It's not remastered and stricken from the same master as the 4K disc. But fortunately, we do get a lot of supplements in this package, including a lot of stuff that was missing from the American release. We get those other cuts of the movie, including, again, the original theatrical cut, the international theatrical cut, which has some extended scenes of violence that were cut from the American versions, the 1992 director's cut, and then one of the other discs has the early work print cut of the movie, which differs from the final product in a number of ways. And it's got several featurettes, photo galleries, and of course that great Dangerous Days making of documentary. If you are a fan of Blade Runner and you're a little disappointed by the content that you get in the American release, I would certainly shell out the extra money and get this import release of the film because it's got all those other cuts of the movie plus plenty of other bonus features to go around. You won't be disappointed with this if you are a fan of the movie. Are you a fan of Blade Runner? What's your favorite cut of the movie? What release of the movie do you own? Do you plan on picking up any further releases of the movie? Comment down below and let me know what you think. Also, remember to subscribe to this channel for more content because I'm always posting new videos. And make sure you give this one a like if you found it helpful. I'm Taylor T. Carlson. See you next time.